So, this level is pretty dark. So this Herp. is the space colony arc. I have to look. Yeah, I, I like it. I forgot this was here when I built mine. You know, Eggman, it's time you installed a better flashlight because the stage is impossibly dark. Anyways, hello everybody, welcome back for more. Let's play Sonic Adventure 2 with me, Hunter and Dragon Dan. And in this part, we're going to do something that reminds me of something out of a Mega Man game, though I'm not sure which one. I'm pretty sure there was a Mega Man stage which had a light mechanic where you had to blow things up to make it lighter or something. Shit like that. There was, but I don't remember which one either. I think we were the really... first one of that and one of the X games. I'm not... There was one in one of the classic ones. I just can't remember. I'm thinking Shadow Man stage was the one where the back went all funky as hell when there was this one enemy that popped up on the screen. But that isn't it. That isn't it. I, I'm... I'm... I'm a... Whatever, someone in the comments will probably say what it was. Uh, long story short, I wasn't meant to break those steel crates because I don't have the power for it yet. Whoops. Um, other long story short, uh, this is my least favorite Eggman stage because I hate light mechanics. Like the, this, 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 this. Okay, let me put it this way. You can see rather fine on this screen. You can, you can see it pretty well. My TV, you cannot see two feet in front of you. <laughs> in this, in this, in this level, because it is, it is impossibly dark. God, you'd hate the last couple levels of Crash Bandicoot 2. I've played Crash Bandicoot 2. I know. It's <laughs> annoying. I don't like those stages. Wait, 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 okay. Which stages again? Quickly remind me. I, I, I have played Bass. Crash Bandicoot recently, but it's those ones where you have to grab that light bit, and if you and if you take too long, the light bit goes away. Oh, the Firefly levels. Mm, okay, I remember. Yes, those ones. I don't like the Firefly levels. They were in Crash 3 too, as well. I mean, yes, they're... yeah, they, they're actually there's actually more of them in three. <laughs> Anyways, back to another. You know what? Which game looks better? This, I meant like looks looks better. This or Crash Bandicoot 2? Crash Bandicoot 2. It, no, I I didn't mean like looks as in plays and looks. Uh, so I'm talking about the light, how the light mechanic works. The light mechanic looks better in uh in Crash Bandicoot 2. Yeah. Uh, graphics wise, though, if we're going purely by graphics, uh, this game obviously is a bunch of superior on Dreamcast. It has much superior graphics over Crash Bandicoot 2. Yeah. Also, Amateur, fuck off! Die in space, please. And again, you're all robots, or at least you have the excuse of being able to breathe in space. To get a whole robot here does not. Yeah, but he's 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 the Eggman. Maybe he's got. The, he's got the you know, plan. maybe he's got an iron lung, a literal iron lung. You know, judging from the Arch comics, maybe he did roboticize himself sometime. Because he did roboticize himself in the comics, you, you never know. They could have just randomly. I don't can't. read comics because the comics are pretty fucking stupid. At least the older ones. Long story short, everybody in the Sonic universe can breathe in space. Even humans, sometimes. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't think they know. I hope they don't. Because it's gonna be like a Superman 4 situation. <laughs> And so there is a big the cat appearance up here, but since this level and this particular ride up is so impossibly fucking dark, you can't see the goddamn thing. I'm going to do post editing magic. Ready for this? Hope you don't blind yourself. There he is, right there. Hey, I can see clearly now. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. And I get interrupted here, so I have to. I'm got you ready for all the drop crap. Here it is. Oh, oh. You, you blanked. You missed it. Oh, I did. Yeah. And for some reason, even this, though the stage is rather lengthy, it feels really short. I don't know what it is. Well, because the pacing is actually good, unlike every Tails level. And that thing came right the fuck out of nowhere. Yup. It just destroyed all my 100 rings that could have gave me an A rank, even though I think it gained an A rank on the stage anyway. It's purely by score. I mean, look at my fucking score. Look at it. Look at it. See, there's the end of the level right there. 
And actually, speaking of, we get an AMRIC. I think we get to hear his line now. You know that line I was talking about before? Oh yeah. I think we do. Listen. Oh, we don't know. I don't get an AMRIC in the stage. I, I'm pretty sure I get one in, um, if, um, the next stage that he has to do next. Anyways, long story short, let's go get the Mystic Melody. Now that we got the freaking jet booster, use it. Thank God. Use it legitly. Yeah. The no. cheating. Yeah. And you have no idea how much this makes Eggman's stages easier because even though he is a better controlled character, it's dropping with them is kind of. Yeah, it kind of blows up in your face. Also, oh, there's a warp portal there. Let's go through it. Wait, we got the Mystic Melody. Now you're in prison. No, no, I'm not in prison. You see, let's do a dance. Let's do a very happy dance. Yay! Now back to the arc, and Shadow is there. Wait, why? What? Well, huh? Huh? Well, it's because he's a genie. Wait, we. Remember, he grant he can grant wishes. It's like Robin Williams. He can just teleport and do as he wants, and he'll start making yeah, stop oh, culture references. Now. You know, I there is a reason why he's there. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. You remember when he cast control at the end of Sonic's little his encounter with Sonic? Yeah, that's him teleporting here. I guess that's when I'm going to make the excuse. Yeah. Weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of mass acceleration. This is one of them. A weapon capable I, I feel like that Robotic forgot this thing existed when he built his death egg. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh yeah, my grandpa had one of these. Wait a minute. Don't. I'm very stupid like that. Stupidish. Now, wait a minute. To reactivate it. Large amounts of energy. Yes, yes, you have one. Yeah. Um. Correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, Eggman, don't you have one with them with you? So that's why we need to uh, uh, I ate it. Exactly. He has a great, he has the gray one? No, you're not gonna give it to him? No? Once you have that, no, you're not? Then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. You're not going to give, just, uh, you have it in your pocket? Could be yours. Dramatic. Uh, no? Okay, fine. <laughs> and then he laughs. Yeah. Where is he keeping that animal anyways? I think he just mech. You know what? That makes the most sense. <laughs> what the hell is that? A pet girl! Wait a minute. Wrong voice. Oh well. Great idea. How about and that is, I think, the only time you actually see her doing it <laughs> that like. <laughs> Joker! Yeah, 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 her hanging from the ceiling, that's probably the only time you're gonna see her doing anything bat-like. And you can't do that in the game. Actually, you know what? No, two things. That, and the fact that she uses sonar t uh, technology to find the emeralds and stuff. Because, you know, she's a bat. Also, she just pulled that out of her ass. Or maybe her breasts. Maybe that's why they're so huge. I don't know. Okay then, it's a deal. Also, did I mention that half of this part's gonna be cutscene? Or it was cutscene? Uh, I think they know at this point. Yeah, or they did, because, you know, it's over. Cutscene time is over. Yay! And next time, we're gonna go to Prison Island. Wee! Oh, wait, it's not bad. Oh, I was gonna say, ah, and then I realized, oh, wait, it's not Tails. Not, and, and it's not that level. At least not yet. Well, Oh, yeah, I know, I know.